LumaFusion 2.4 brings with it new and improved functionality for chroma key and luma key. Chroma key is a way of compositing clips, allowing you to key out a specific color from your image. Let's check out an example of a composite using the chroma keyer. With LumaFusion 2.4, the improved chroma keyer now gives you more control to dial in a better mask for your composite. The results of this key looks okay, but to dial in a more accurate key, we're going to use our color dropper. You'll notice that when you drag the color dropper to your image, the effect is temporarily turned off so you can select the color that you want to key. And as soon as you pick the color you want, the effect is toggled back on. Just to add, there's also a new color picker interface, giving you more options to dial in the hue of your key. That looks good, but just to be safe, we're going to turn on Show Mask, allowing us to clearly see what we're doing when refining the mask. Notice we tapped on the solo button to see the mask as pure black and white, further tidying up any holes or troublesome edges that we see on the mask. This looks like a better key. If you get confused at any point during your key, Tap the magic wand to go back to LumiFusion's calculated color value that's based on your frame. LumaKey is another way of compositing clips by making certain luminance levels transparent. So now let's check out an example of a composite using the LumaKeyer. When using the improved LumaKeyer, you have the control that you need to dial in a better mask. The initial key looks pretty good, but let's take a closer look at what's going on. Just like we did with our chroma key example, we're going to tap on show mask, allowing us to clearly see what we're doing when refining the mask. And we can immediately see that we don't really have a clean mask since we can see some of the night sky bleeding through the moon's surface. So we're going to tap on solo so we can see the mask only. And let's start improving the mask. We're going to max out our roll off and you can immediately see an improvement to the mask. Notice there's some very light gray areas still showing up. So let's use the Luma range to move them up to 100% luminance. Now, when we turn off Show Mask and Solo, we can see we have a better looking key. You can also achieve similar results using blending modes in the Frame and Fit tab, but with the Luma keyer, you have greater control over your mask for a better composite. Now that you have a great key, you can tweak your color to bring out more detail in your composite or apply other effects. LumaFusion 2.4 is a free update available now in the iOS App Store.